I gotta get it, Chris. I gotta get it. What's going on? This is your boy, SB. So I am talking about why you should stay at Amazon during a recession. In my opinion, this probably isn't the time to be jumping ship, bouncing from here to there, from there to here. Just in my opinion, let's talk about it. So the first reason, diving right into it, because when you're dealing with Amazon Warehouse, most likely you have more than one Amazon Warehouse around you. We already know about buildings closings and them scaling back. If a building happens to close around you and you happen to be in a building that does close, if you have other buildings around you, we are seeing people be relocated. There's a chance that you can be relocated to another building around you. I kind of talked about that in a few videos back and I was talking about how a lot of jobs, especially the smaller ones that are closing down, it's a wrap. There's no other place for you to transfer to. And in most cities, especially if you like in the actual city, there's usually more than one Amazon around you to where that's somewhere else that you can go if this recession continues to hit as hard as is projected to do so. Yes, there are companies out there that do have that, but not all of them. Also, another reason why I don't think you should leave during a recession is because one thing that a lot of people don't talk about, Amazon's network. Their network is crazy. You can literally move almost anywhere on earth just by transferring to another Amazon. Let's say if you did move and you were by yourself in a, in a certain state right now, and you were like, you know what, I think I kinda wanna be back closer during, to family during this time, cause they're doing bad, or we came up with a plan, yo, we all gonna take this year to just stay in one spot, move in together to save our funds, and then a year and two, once we're all saved up, we're gonna launch and then you know spread back out with finances when hopefully everything drops down. Amazon is a job where you can do that. You know, if you've, you're in Miami right now by yourself and all your families in Texas, you can go relocate to Texas by transferring through Amazon. Their network is that huge. And then also one thing that I've come across during my time with Amazon over three years, not just the network when it comes to the building, the network when it comes to the people. I have come across so many people at Amazon who does this on the side, who does this on the side, who does that on the side, who does that on the side. And so many people like, yo, why don't you come on? Like, come on, I'll help you or I'll help you start you off, boom, boom, boom. People got a cleaning business, people who have a detail business, where you may become cool with them and if something hits the fan, you may be able to do what they do part-time to bring in more income. I've had those offers before. So I'm just saying, the whole network of Amazon is super dope when it comes to the structure of the buildings and different positions that's all over the world. Also, the network of people that you will come across working with Amazon as well. And I do know people who did real estate and they were just in Amazon collecting clientele, just working, boop, 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 boop scanning. Here's somebody talking about real estate. Oh, you just moved out here? Do you have a real estate agent? No, I was actually looking for one. Here you go. My name is so-and-so. And I'm like, yo, they just, boom, they just collected right there. About to go sell a house, make some money and then two months later when a whole new class of people is coming in he's still there reintroducing himself collecting finances now you're not supposed to be doing that at the workplace i'm not endorsing that but there's a lot of people who do do that they're not out there passing out flyers it happens genuinely they just hear somebody talking oh man you do oh you talking about that oh that's crazy i do this Boom, and then it happens. And then now they have created some business while making money. People who do detail. I've seen them just be at work collecting clientele. Oh, man, what kind of car you got? Oh, bad. Hey, man, I do detail. Here's some of my work right here. Oh, man, you do some good work. You think you can detail, you know, on our off days, boom, boom? <laughs> yep, done. <laughs> making money while making money. It's not too many jobs where that happens. And then to end it off, I think one of the main reasons why you should stay at Amazon, why I'm going to try my best to stay at Amazon during this recession is because Amazon is low key tested. Like they made it through Earth's like most difficult time when everything was shut down. Amazon was one of those places that was still open. <laughs> they was like, oh, nope, sorry, you gotta close it down, you need masks. They were like, oh, one second, hold on, hey, uh, Uncle Jeff, but we need masks. He came through with a billion masks. They were like, wait, hold on, six feet, man, I have to close it down. They said, up, oh, hold on, Uncle Jeff, we need six feet. He then came through and put six feet, little footprints all throughout the every warehouse on Earth. Like, <laughs> There were certain people who didn't like how we were still open during that time. I totally respect everybody's opinion and their um, their thoughts on that. Me, I was on the flip side. I was like, well, look, this is a chance where I can come up. You know what I mean? Like the whole world stopped and I'm able to 
excel and exceed during this time, that's honestly low key. That helped me get in position to get my house. So that's one reason why I would try to stay because they have made it through difficult times already. Now, this is different. This is it's hidden in a different way because that actually caused consumer spending to go through the roof online. Now it's like the flip where consumer spending is now what we're going through is causing consumer spending to pull back. So it's going to hit different, but they have made it through difficult times and I think they will make it through this as well. I'm not saying they're going to lose some, they're not going to lose some weight during this time, space and head count and all that stuff. I'm not saying that's not going to happen. I think that's going to happen a lot, but I think they may weather the storm better than most. And if you don't work in Amazon, I think you probably should. Like, you know what? Let me see if I can go work part-time over there. They got a flex schedule. You can pick your own days you want to work. You want to work two days out of the week? Bet. Come on, get a box. <laughs> you want to work three days? Bet. Go pick that up over there and tape that box up. Like, they got part-time stuff for you to do. And if I didn't work in Amazon, I would be working in Amazon just to do it part-time. Because like I have always said during these recession videos, this is a time where we need to stack up cash. We need to pay down debt. We need to make sure that we have cushion for four months, five months, just in case anything happens to any of us. <laughs> that is why, like I said, I would work for Amazon. If I didn't, I work for Amazon. And I'm going to work for Amazon again. I'm about to work for Amazon twice. I'm about to be for Amazon corporate and Amazon delivery. Anyways, man, this is your boy SB. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell. Yes, I am an artist. This is my song called Whoa, off my new project, Motivated. It's in the description if you want to check it out and support. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Let's go. Look, look, they say I couldn't do it, but I did. But I did, but I did. Turn stacks to a crib. Yeah. Going up, going in. Let them sleep, bedtime, tuck them in.